Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Today I'm going to do a species profile on the Amphilophus humaboomerum from the Rio Chocolateca in Honduras. The hogs, as they're commonly called, was named in 1950 after the two brothers who helped to catch them. When they were first named, it was thought to be closely related to Europhelma, but it is now thought that there's a link between the Trimac, which lives in the north, and the Bard Midas that come from the south. The pair that I've got, it, it's a rescue pair. They're actually F2 from two different bloodlines. From the research that Rick at Predator Aquatics has done, it seems that the last time wild ones come into the UK was in 2008. So these ones are descendants from them. From what we can gather, there doesn't seem to be many other pairs around at the moment. They've only been found in the Rio Chulateca in Honduras and during the dry season the, the water parameters can be quite extreme. The pH can go up to 8.5 and the temperature can be between 86 Fahrenheit and 100 Fahrenheit. But they seem to be quite happy in normal aquarium conditions. My ones are kept in a neutral pH at 78 degrees Fahrenheit. The male can be quite aggressive to other occupants, so I've just got the pair in the tank by themselves. He can also be aggressive to the female, so you've got to provide lots of shelter and hide in places. As you can see, mine's got a little cave that Damien from Predator Aquatics made for me. Thanks Damien. Full size for the male is said to be 12 inches, but these ones are th the males between 13 and 14 inches now. The females are a lot smaller. Whether or not she's the same age, I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure whether they have bred together in the past, but I'm hoping that they will do in the future. I've only had them in the tank for a week, so they're still settling down. As most of us know, with the larger cichlids, they do, do take a long time to settle down once you move them. And these have actually been moved twice in a week. The female has been staying in the pot most of the time. But as you can see during the video, when she do comes out, she has a little swim around and the male chases her back inside. Whether or not he's ready for breeding and she's not, I'm not sure. Only time will tell. Feeding these fish, they do feed on most things. Um, I've been trying to get them to feed this week. They've been taking little bits of frozen food. Again, I'm not quite sure what they've been fed on in the past. So they are eating, but not much. So it's just a waiting game to see how we get on during the next couple of months. I'll keep you updated on how this pair is getting along. 
Once again, thanks for watching and thanks to Predator Aquatics for, um, for getting these fish for me.